I'm trying to start a civil. I'm trying not a civil war to start a war between America and England. Why is that? I, just, I don't like the English. You don't like England? Yeah, I was watching some shit the other day. I just don't like the English. I thought you liked England. No, I don't like the crown, bro. What I've never think? liked England, dude. Don't you dare. You love it. You're a Tory. Don't you dare. I'm not a fucking Tory. You're a Tory. Don't say, don't paint You've me always as a Tory. been a fucking Tory. Fuck the Queen on the record, dude. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You seem like a bit of a Tory to me. I'm just saying, fuck the Queen? Mm. Your proper Tory behavior fucking sickens no, me, dude. I'm, I'm a patriot. I love America. So do I. You love I want to. I want to just make sure they know we still fucking stand. You love our mother. Independent. Con- our, our fucking, our mother country. Ireland, dude. Yeah, we got oppressed. No, well, I don't even like Ireland, sure, dude. We were I'm so American. oppressed. That's true. I can't wait to win an award someday and just be like, <laughs> and this is for all of the Irish. <laughs> dude. That we do so much. I'm never going to do that. I yeah, know. I was thinking that because I was watching the fucking powerful Golden Globes last yeah. night. Yeah. You, you saw all of it? Power? I watched a lot of it, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't see the over. I turned it off before the last like 15 minutes. Couldn't do it. Do they have like perform? No, it's not like the VMAs. They didn't have like, a musical No, performance. they didn't do music, but they did... Uh, they did just show every single actor and woman being like, Inspired. women are so powerful. <laughs> Dude, as soon as Me Too happened, I called that. I can't wait for the 2080 Golden Globes when men have been oppressed for like 30 years. Mm-hmm. And then somebody takes this, a man wins and is like, this is for all the men out there. Tom Hanks, white rapper son, dude. He'll come back oh, and be like. Did you see that geezer come out? Who? Uh, Kirk Douglas's dad? Star Trek's dad? No, that's William Shatner. Yeah, oh, I thought Kirk Douglas is Star Trek. No, uh, the guy he was in Spartacus and all that shit. He's like 101 years old. He was down there, and they had him come out in a wheelchair. Did someone get him and try to talk? And he was seriously like, he was with Catherine Zeta Jones. Yeah, is she is that her husband? No, <laughs> his son is her husband. <laughs> Michael Douglas. Yeah, Michael Douglas. Holy fuck! His okay, name is Kirk Douglas. Okay, yeah, his dad. Yeah. He might have been in like Ben Hur or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in He was in the same Spartacus. He was in this oh, okay, yeah. But he came out in this fucking wheelchair. Like, like he was dead. Uh, he was hundred and one years old. And Catherine Zeta Jones was like, What did you say? And he was like <laughs> And then they strung him up and fucking hung him live on stage. <laughs> and then the crowd was like, Oh, that's nice. Uh man, it was just but anyway, that's Tom, that's gonna be Tom Hanks in like thirty years. Oh yeah. They're gonna bring Tom Hanks out and be like what do you think about men finally making a comeback? He'd be like, it was so powerful. Yeah, dude, and fucking Mel men. Gibson's going to flip his chair over Mel and Gibson's still be on testosterone. Like, gonna... fuck him, dude. He's a bitch. We needed Mel Gibson at the Globes last night. Dude, they, his face, the whole they couldn't show his face during those speeches. <laughs> <laughs> dude, there's they, no way he was They invited. probably had him sitting behind like a cardboard partition so no one could see his face. <laughs> <laughs> he had like a veil on it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Mel wouldn't have laughed. He would have rushed it. He would have Kanye the stage. Mel like, fuck this. Up. He'd dude. be like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Look, Get Out was good. <laughs> but Parks and Rec was the best show. <laughs> now, what, what would he have liked? I don't know. Is there a show? Mel Gibson? Is there a show that Mel would have Daddy's liked? Daddy's Home, too, dude. He would have wrote, he would have wrote know, a his like, own shit. I'm trying to think of a show he would have enjoyed. Peaky Blinders, dude. Yeah, true. He'd have loved the Peaky Blinders. Like, Peaky Blinders was the best show this year. <laughs> you guys, fucking get out. According, fuck, according fuck, to this me, this is us. I would have been. I would. If they were like, "What was the best show?" I'd be like, "Peaky Blinders, dude." Right. Away. I love yeah. that show. It was well, great. Peaky Blinders was probably the best. It was sick, dude. That sketch idea you have is great. Of just drinking like the Peaky yeah. Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> we actually should make it. We we'll get should. you, me, Pope. We should. Tommy Pope would love it. He'd be so. He'd funny, be jerking yeah. off to do it. Uh, that'd be so fun. Uh, Six and O'Connor. That'd be that's so, a good dude. That'd be so fun. Just doing business and drinking fucking out. I yeah. like you need the crystal server stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. where like they, they always pour liquor out of like crystal yeah. like china and then drink the entire bottle immediately. It's nothing, dude. It's nothing to them. And then go in and conduct very serious business after drinking. <laughs> Each of them drank like a handle yeah, yeah. of whiskey. It's time for business. I have some business. <laughs> it's business, isn't it, Tommy? <laughs> It's time for the business, though. It's time for the I went down to Lancashire and said, no, son. I love when he goes, by order of the big... Oh, my God. That pisses me off when every he, time. <laughs> when he starts doing so coke. Gay. No, When he does start doing coke and the only way he can talk, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, chill. <laughs> And by orders at a peaky blind day. Because we said so. Is that like a wedding? Like, <laughs> yeah, like everything they do. The one part when they're in that gunfight, like Tommy's running through the house in a gunfight, and he's like, everybody, get to your. Get what to season your is this? The last season. Don't, dude, don't tell me. I didn't All see right, the well, very he's in a end. gunfight, and he's running through I his house that, yeah. and project. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, everybody, get to your rooms. 
by order of the Peaky Blinders. It's like, dude, leave that part out. Just <laughs> <laughs> so that should have won, dude. Mel would have been like in the winner goes. Mel would have been. Yeah, he would have tore the car up like Peaky Blinders. Mel dude. Gibson would have been like that or. Uh, like Spike TV's weirdest ways to die. <laughs> it would have been like that was the best show. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good like WWE probably <laughs> that deserves an award. Those guys get hurt a lot. <laughs> yeah, but that that shit last that night had you was fired just up so bad. Yeah, I dude. As soon as that Me Too stuff happened, I'm like, I literally stopped and I was like, all right, next whatever the next show is, you know, it was like Golden Globes. Mm-hmm. I didn't know back then. Women are gonna fucking sweep. Yeah. And it's just gonna be like I didn't I didn't foresee the dress code the all black, me too dress code the is all powerful. black dress yeah. code was very all powerful. black me too dress code is powerful. But I was like they're just gonna they're gonna give all the awards to women and be like yeah, I see Hollywood likes you and then it's yeah, just like I mean it's it was a circle jerk. I think they're covering up the real deal. Who's that? The fucking child touchers. Oh, you think they're they were like Hollywood's doing them. what? T- uh, raping women? They're like yeah, my bad. Sorry, won't do it again. You think they're hiding the real thing? Files. Yeah, bro. The real thing they're doing is Corey Feldman. You sound dude. like Alex Jones. I, I mean, dude, Alex they're Jones. definitely hiding pedos. He dude. said Trump was going to roll them up. Trump's a fucking. He's full of shit. <laughs> you turn it on Trump, daddy. <laughs> turn it on. Don't blow your nose into the fucking microphone. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I just forgot where I was. Trump's a fucking asshole, dude. He's, per, he's persecuting medical marijuana in California. I instantly tapped out him. I was like, fucking fraud. Only yeah. because he claimed to be big for states' rights. And then there's they're, they're California, because he's a fucking asshole, dude. Nah, there's probably <laughs> he's a, good, a pure dickhead, dude. Very good reason. No, he's probably like, they don't need pot. I never smoked in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get true. it out of here. And he also knows liberals want medical. Want that's actually weed, that's so actually definitely like fucking no, a power. You guys, <laughs> sorry, you can't have it. <laughs> sorry. I think too. He's just being like, I think they're just ruffling feathers to be like, we're gonna come shake your little fucking tree yeah. down, and they're like, all right, all right, I will right, we'll do this. He, he probably wants in in the industry. And they were like, he was like, I'm gonna start shaking some things down, and people were like, dude, fucking, what do you want? Trump should have got a Golden Globe instead dude, of if, Oprah. They should have given it to Trump. For he's a genius, dude. Best guy of the year. It, that his shit was too funny. Where they were like, in that he got burnt in that book. Uh, oh yeah. And they, he was like, I can assure you, I'm a very stable genius. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's so yeah. fucking funny. I got to yeah. see the whole speech because they might have taken him out of context. But that's still I even build it, even build it up to that, being like. I'm actually very smart, and I'm a very stable genius. If somebody, a reporter was probably like, yeah, this guy said you were an unstable moron. Yeah, and, and he, he was, was like, like, I'm actually a very stable genius. Sorry. <laughs> Too bad. Go home to mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's, dude, I, st- I can't stop loving Donald Trump. He's too funny, man. I mean, I, I do think, obviously, he's a fucking moron. Obviously, yeah. But, well, I mean, I don't even think he's he a He hit my red he line, dude. He has zero respect for anything, and he just shows up and is like... The media is gay. Sorry. Well, they're trying to figure it's out what like, to do with him now. The whole thing is like we no can't one can do anything. We can't have him be like our nuclear buttons bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're like, dude, you can't do that. <laughs> he can though. I know. He's doing it. He's doing whatever the fuck he wants. I know you can't stop. He's him, like dude. Bam Margera, dude. I really think he's just like a hardcore contrarian. He yeah. the whole, he like watches polls and like seventy nine percent of Americans are in favor of legalized marijuana. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not having it. <laughs> yeah, he's like Ben Marjorie. This is Viva, yeah. this is Viva La Trump, dude. Like, what am I gonna do next? Whatever the fuck I want. Sorry. It's so funny. He's just pranking everyone. <laughs> he is fucking punking the entire country. Oh my god, dude. But uh, yeah, the Globes. We had. If he was there, uh, they should have had him. Like at least. Oh my god, they, they should have had him watching the whole time, like a dictator, just on the thing, and his oh eyes god. just moving around. He should have come down from the rafters like Sting, <laughs> just onto the stage. <laughs> And like but, like fucking... butt man, he could have should have came down like butt man from Howard Stern. Just fucking, flew <laughs> he should have stunned Oprah in front of everyone. Oh my God, Trump! They should fight. They should box for charity. That'd be a pretty fair fight. Trump versus Oprah? Yeah, he would fucking destroy. You Oprah. think he'd beat Trump's her? Like six three. He's like seventy years old. She's a fucking old lady, dude. She's powerful. He's the most powerful. Uh, more than Oprah in a fist Definitely. in a wrestling match. In a wrestling match, I'll take Donald Trump over Oprah. We just had this conversation How old's in the last Oprah? episode How old's where Oprah? people no, we didn't, overestimate did we? women in fights. <laughs> Donald Trump would not Oprah, murder dude. her. You didn't see her speech? That was very powerful. Exactly. True. She would fucking destroy him, That could him, be the dude. new Don. Oh, that would be, they, they, we need Oprah to fight Donald Trump. That'll be the new Don, dude. You're right. Stedman might hop in, though. Stedman's black ass. Stedman, <laughs> Stedman on Trump. That would be orange on orange fucking crime, dude. <laughs> dude, Those I didn't know. the only two orange guys I didn't know Stedman Earth. was trans into a black dude. 
Yeah. That you pointed that out, and as soon as I saw him, I'm like, who? I thought it was like Doctor Phil. I'm like, who the fuck is yeah. that guy? Stedman's transing to black. He is. He's, He's Trump's transing to black too. Stedman, Trump, and Snooky are the only three orange people in America, <laughs> and they fucking dominate. All three of them are the best. That's true. If you're orange, you're, you're fucking good. That's true, actually. You're absolutely right. We got to start tanning more. That's why the Syracuse Syracuse football team had to change their name because they're the Orange Men. Why did they have to change that? So it was racist against Indians. Oh, now really? they're just the Syracuse Orange. So there was a bunch I want right the now. press to know how important they are. Please. Dude. That makes me love Trump. <laughs> Watching the Golden Globe, I was just like, dude, thank God Trump, the retard, is in office. Because <laughs> that, that whole thing was a joke. The Golden oh, Globes yeah, yeah, and yeah. any award. Yeah. There's that one fat black lady from Hidden Figures. Mm-hmm. All the, the cast of Hidden Figures, I don't think they ever have to act again. They just get to go to every award show mm-hmm. and cry and clap. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I know they're in like a lot of uh, they're in a lot of like weird black movies, like a lot of Medea movies and stuff. They're in more Medea movies. Medea goes to the award show and cries. She's in like the Help. Speech. That lady. That lady's in the Help. She's pretty yeah, much. Yeah, she's yeah. made a niche out of like a being a looking slave. In, basically <laughs> looking in. Like, yeah, literally, it's yeah. that of being there and just being like. This ain't right. And yeah. Like, all right, it. here, next movie set. Say that again, right here. Yeah. Perfect. It's like, all right, come over here. You'd be a warm-hearted, intelligent slave. Yeah. And then say, "This ain't right. Someday this gonna change." Yeah. Literally, that's and cut. Here's ten million dollars. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't pay your maids and houseworkers. That yeah. she definitely has. Oh, dude, she's fucking. <laughs> she definitely chilling, has like dude. eight Mexicans in her house. <laughs> One Mexican sitting there, just like this. No, bueno. <laughs> no, it's the no. Dude, correcto. she's probably fucking ruthless, dude. We're Mexican slaves. Yeah, all of them have Mexican slaves. Definitely, they all have lad slaves. Oh, they definitely do. They probably, they're probably like in Borat when she goes and sits yeah, on yeah, the furniture. Yeah. <laughs> the Mexican chair people. Yeah. Oh man, they work hard though, dude. Those fucking those Mexican chair people work hard as hell. I love them. Yeah, I love them too. Their work ethic. I dude, love their work ethic. Fucking sick. It's the only thing I care about in a race <laughs> is how hard they work. <laughs> this is the first thing I've done all day. That was the. It sucked. I haven't gotten persecuted for being a quick draw since I was like seventeen. That was I was not liking. I it. never got made fun of for that. And there definitely has had to have been several quick draws. Oh, dude, I was. I mean, if I quick draw, if I don't touch myself for a while, dude, I'm quick drawing off the yeah. bat. I need. I'm like. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah, Denzel, yeah. and he got game right away. Dude. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, the, the key is I like I didn't sweat her for it. So that's, that was an iconic scene when he came with Del, iconic, Denzel. He should have won an award for that. One of the most iconic prejacks <laughs> in all of Hollywood history. Oh, that was a funny one last night at the what? Golden Globes. Skarsgård got an award for like best supporting Game of actor. Thrones. No, Skarsgård. Oh yeah, for yeah, beating yeah, his yeah. wife for fucking his wife up. Yeah. So this whole fucking show where everyone's wearing black and everyone's like, the time is up. Stop being mean to women. He uh, got an award. And he's like, and the best portrayal of beating a woman. <laughs> Scars guard. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. That was fucking sick. Mm-hmm. That was the one I stood up for. You were like, it's about time, dude. I stood up and got teary-eyed and I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is powerful. Scars are uh, bulldog and his wife. Just if if you get a chance to watch it, the you've, got to, you've got to watch any speech. You thought that the Oprah one was the worst, probably. Yeah. When it comes to, but they did that the entire fucking night, dude. I'm telling you, I called it. Where, like, like if someone gives a speech, they cut to women in the audience that are like nodding, mm-hmm. teary eyed, and like hugging each other. It's like, dude, it's 1980. It's, it's 1984 insane. face crime. I it used is. to watch the um, which one call it. Like the democratic conventions and all that stuff, and watch people's faces and be like, "Man, this is weird." How they're like they're just yeah, yeah, faking yeah. their face the whole time. That's the Oscars now. At any yeah. point, dude. If you I'm just sure, go, I mean, it's been that way for a while, but now it's at a fever pitch. And, I think, yeah, exactly. I think it's ramped up. And at least before they were talking about like world hunger, yeah, and poverty, and now it's like women are stronger than you think. Ooh. Yeah, well, they're, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna. It was AIDS. Right now, this, AIDS was at least a good one. I know, but Stand I'm saying it's they're, it's it's Hollywood, so there's like yeah. fashionable plate. So now like yeah. they'll get bored of women in the next one. No, they won't. Women that'll peter that's out. Trust linger me. for a while. Though. I mean, of course it'll peter give out. Give it three years. Yeah, it's a while. And then it'll people will come up with something cooler and like more. What better. do you think it's going to be? In America, it's always going to be black people. Yeah, but I, I think even the that, Indians are sneaking in. I think you'll get they some native. I think you'll get some. Indians. I think you'll get some native Americans. I saw Aziz Ansari there. 
Here's what was he the doing? Golden Globes. Was he frowning or was surprised he... me because I hear there's some rumblings about Aziz being on the chopping block. Really? You heard it here first on the secret podcast. Really? If Aziz getting Aziz, a little fucking... there's a little rumors out there about the Aziz man. He's making girls dance in his uh-huh. apartment? Yeah, pretty much. Well, if you watch enough Bollywood, dude, it'll fuck you up. If he you're like, all, he's probably like, all you got to do is dance behind the train and grab the one I love, dude. Yep. So like, <laughs> <laughs> like grab the chick from behind. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as he's uh, keep an eye on that. Hollywood must be. It must be hard to date in fucking Hollywood. Like I, I've dated like fucking accountants, hairdressers, dude, and like I couldn't imagine if they had just like nine billion dollars and like nine million fans just sure. to fucking deal with that. Yeah. It's tough, dude. And the, yeah. Because the average hairdresser, if you asked her, <laughs> she'd say like her pussy's worth like $10 million. So like yeah. Sarah Jessica Parker, it must be impossible to fuck her. Yeah. There's no way. Like True. what the fuck could you even do? Impossible. Be like, oh, I guess I'll pick you up and we'll go to a movie. And she's like, yeah, I'm in that movie. You're like, fuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, you just have to, that's how, that's how Trump does it. He just grabs him by the pussy. You think he's, he just cool dogs him that Trump hard? Trump just shows up and he's like, Hello, Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> Grabs her. <laughs> That's what I thought. Shut the fuck up. I win. And then she's like, hey, everyone, he just grabbed my pussy. <laughs> He's like, no, I didn't. Lying bitch. <laughs> Horse face Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was, because I was, uh, that's what I was thinking about this weekend. Um, what else you been up to? Chilling. I, oh, I got fucking, I haven't been home. Last night was the first time I slept here and like since we last podcast oh shit i was stuck at my sister's for like three days i forgot you got snowed in with them dogs yeah i went over to dog sit and got stuck for two days in fucking manioc shit that was a nightmare that does suck that sucked ass <laughs> just stuck with these two fucking big ass dogs snowed you were, in. you were get snowed into being the help for two days i was the help i was like something i was like something ain't right someday this gonna change mm-hmm. you would have helped dude and then they and then i was at the golden globes crying last night <laughs> clapping at reese witherspoon's speech i was like oh my god free at last thank you reese witherspoon, yeah, reese witherspoon. <laughs> thank you reese witherspoon the millionaire that's what the time she was 19 all those civil rights movies and all that shit came out, and everyone was just like, that's the coolest shit in the world. Yeah, they did well. I mean, it's a classic underdog, and now dude. now it's like... It's a Hollywood. Now that it? we're all grown up, it's like, I'm a, I'm a free at last, I did yeah. it. Yeah, especially Reese, dude. It's like, she was in Legally Blonde in what, like... Yeah, she was... 98? She was in... Uh, She's been... She Reese got, has been papered, She got dude. fingered by... I'm on the edge Andy Wahlberg. Or Andy Wahlberg. Who? <laughs> Fucking Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, Mark. Andy Christ. Wahlberg, dude, you gotta stay Andy, off. Andy Warhols, you gotta stay off those ass. tile floors. That fucking froze your brain. Uh, Mark Wahlberg, yeah, on fear. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was like, who the, the fuck else finger? That's a nice finger. You're telling one me, of the dude. top five cinematic fingers of all time. <laughs> it might be the most. <laughs> dude. The number one pre-jack was Denzel. Yeah. Number one finger might be Andy Wahlberg. Yeah, Andy Wahlberg. <laughs> Do you think there's any other classic fingers? Classic fingering in Hollywood. I talked about the one the one time in the other sister when the dude fingers a girl on broken glass. That might be the quintessential finger oh, of man. Hollywood. What was oh, that about? dude, uh, that was what I told you about with the retarded girl. Or <laughs> so whatever. wait, the, he fingered a retarded. I girl? thought he did, but I was I was mistaken. He fingered uh, a retarded girl's sister, but she was in the house, so the retarded, <laughs> the retarded girl was there. She probably smelled it. She probably smat it, smashed it, smashed the fucking face. Smell. You think a lot so? Of people don't know. You think that. it's like heightened? Uh, they do. Well, they're dumb as fuck, so all their senses are heightened I can as fuck. See that. That's why they're jacked. That's why yeah. they fucking smell and they taste everything. That's why they love everything. That's why they love... Hand them a piece of fucking cake or, or some ice cream. A little bit of ham. Cream. Give them some ham. They're like, this is the best ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's not even a good retarded You're coming off the reservoir, dude. Here we are. Oh, my 2018, God. 2018, my resolutions are fucked. No, they're good. You're getting, you're getting back uh, on I'm track. Back. You're no, back I on track right again. now, dude. That's I'm, the beauty of it. Won't say it again by the end of this episode. Perfect. <laughs>